everybody, Casey Johnson here, and welcome back once again to Not My Booth for another build video. Today we're gonna to be taking these horseshoes, this pipe, and we're gonna be making some hat racks for my cowboy hats. Wife says they need to get out of the way, and why buy it when you can build it? If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that like button. If you end up not liking it, go back and hit the dislike button. Leave me a comment below, and let's have some fun. First things first, we're gonna start by cleaning some things off. These horseshoes are uh, forged, and so they have some scale on them. I need to get that off. Need to get prepped for paint. I'm gonna have to drill some holes. We've got a black pipe here. If you remember from the shelf video that I made, black pipe comes greased up, and so we're gonna have to clean that grease off. I've got a couple of different sizes. I've got a basic plan. I'm gonna be using some epoxy as well because I couldn't find certain things to screw in the way I want. You'll see all that in a little bit. But first, let's get all these open. Let's get them cleaned off. So let's go through the basics of how I'm going to do it. I have my floor flange, which is going to be a wall flange. I have an eight inch black pipe here, an elbow. I will either be using this short three inch piece or this four and a half inch piece, or five inch piece, whatever it is. And I'll have this hooked up, let's say that I'm using the taller ones for now, to a coupler. And then this plug, that's not really a plug, it's actually an adapter flange. I'll have this adapter flange in here, screwed down nice and tight. And then what I'm going to do, because this is actually made for another pipe, even though it's a quarter inch, so this is a half inch by quarter inch adapter, it's not actually a quarter inch. Um, the half inch bolt uh, does not have the same threads that this uses. So I have a three inch bolt that is loose. I'm going to drill a three eighth inch hole in here, put this down through, and then I'm going to use some very strong epoxy. And all this is going to be nice and tight and laid down. And then after the epoxy cures, I'm going to be spraying, spray painting everything this nice black, same as the shell. You know, it'll match, it'll have a nice little aesthetic going on in there. And then of course, the hat will set on top again. So I've got two different epoxies here. I have the old and trusty five minute epoxy, and then I have this, which is a putty epoxy. And I'm thinking this will end up working really well. You cut it, evidently, you mix it up. And then I'm thinking what I can do is line the rim, actually screw this into the epoxy, and then uh, I'll let it harden. And then I can add some more epoxy on top or on the sides of that other epoxy if I need to over time. I'm going to epoxy the holes themselves. So I'm going to plug these holes and um, then I'm going to let them cure for a while. I probably won't let them fully cure, but I'll let them harden up. And then I will drill them out and tap them. And when I tap them, I'll use more epoxy.
little bit overkill for what I'm using it for, but let's see how that works. But it protects all my vehicles. It's starting to sprinkle. Better hurry up. Not exactly as intended. These are two different size bits. That other one's wider. Okay. See the. See how that one's wider. Yeah. Don't lose it. Okay. I keep all my stuff together. And then this one's skinnier. Okay. And the skinnier goes on these screws, and that wider one fits the uh, anchors. That should have been a short video, but I think I'll leave some of the conversation I had with my youngest in there for y'all. Um, and if I didn't do that, then this little monologue at the end is probably a little weird. But uh, I really like how the hat racks turned out. As you can see, the black pipe on them does, in fact, match very similarly to the aesthetic of the black pipe on our uh, little library, growing library. As always, I'm Casey Johnston. Thanks so much for lending me your ears and your eyes and your imaginations. I'll read to you next time.